Here's a topic everyone has mithered me to death about, the gay bomb. Well, I say everyone, but I actually think it was just the one guy with like 50 million profiles. Uh, this guy is relentless. He's sending me messages, he's commenting on the videos, he's putting it in the Discord server, he, he's making fucking memes about it. Do the gay bomb video, do the gay bomb video, gay bomb, gay bomb. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! I don't the fucking video! Shut the fuck up! So in 1994, the US military was investigating the use of non-lethal chemical weapons, a hobby I myself took up only a few months ago. Non-lethal chemical weapons are an interesting method of combating insurgency groups and guerrilla forces as they provide an effective method of dispatching enemy combatants without inflicting any serious damage to the civilian populations that guerrilla fighters typically hide amongst. I guess at some point between then and now they just kind of um, became disillusioned with that whole idea. Wright Laboratories, which at the time was part of the US Air Force, who have a history of questionable bomb-related decision-making, led a research project entitled Harassing, Annoying, and Bad Guy Identifying Chemicals, which suggested the development of the so-called gay bomb, amongst a few others. They broke these suggestions down into three categories, which I shall read in reverse order to bamboozle you. Category 3, Chemicals That Affect Human Behaviour, and I quote, one distasteful but completely non-lethal example would be strong aphrodisiacs, especially if the chemical also caused homosexual behaviour. The use of the word distasteful there is uh, seems a little bit misplaced. It's like they're really ashamed they'd ever have to use this. Well Isis, I didn't want to do this but you forced my hand. For the good of mankind, I have no choice but to turn you all gay. May God have mercy on my soul. Using any sort of chemical to induce homosexuality is fairly doubtful, but even if they had a bomb that turned everybody in the blast radius 100% gay, guaranteed, what's the fucking point? How does that in any way contribute to a military victory? They did realise being gay is not debilitating, right? But my main gripe with this suggestion is the fact the idea has been popularised as a bomb. I don't think a bomb is the best medium to weaponize such a chemical, I suggest the following as a much superior alternative. Gay thrower. Also under this category is a chemical that would make personnel very sensitive to sunlight, which is actually a great idea. Why the fuck did you lead with gay bomb? Category 2. Chemicals that make lasting but non-lethal markings. I think this whole category is a good idea. It could be like the dye banks use to mark stolen money. You could mark enemies with a dye that would identify them even after they try to disperse back into civilian populations. Or a permeating awful odour that also affected morale. Or an unnoticeable odour that would, could only be picked up by trained dogs or detecting equipment. Then the enemy wouldn't even know they could be identified. Good work but it looks like you made a spelling mistake here, B+. Category 1, chemicals that attract annoying creatures to the enemy position and make the creatures aggressive and annoying. <laughs> I think this part of the paper may have been written by a small child, but it's potentially a good idea. You could attract all sorts of rats and ants and bees to an enemy position. Uh, really only a minor inconvenience, but still probably more effective than being turned gay. Um, not that suddenly being turned gay wouldn't be inconvenient, you know, you'd have to leave the wife, get back into the dating scene, you have to take your earring out and put it in the other ear, there's a whole secret language you have to learn, but you could still shoot a person. It also seems a little complicated, why spray the enemy with a chemical that attracts bees when you could just, you know, release the bees? If you're going to make a bomb, don't fill it with invitations to the bee party and hope they all show up, just put the bees in the bomb. That's what I always say. The Wright Lab requested a six year, $7.5 million grant to create a variety of these weapons and apparently the Pentagon was interested enough to submit the proposal for scientific review. Alas, naught became of the proposal and the Pentagon would instead focus its efforts on turning frogs gay. Yeah, there it is, the gay bomb. Look it up for yourself. I mean, this is what they're, what do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. And I'm not saying people didn't naturally have homosexual feelings. I'm not even getting into it, quite frankly. I mean, give me a break. You think I am like, oh, shocked by it, so I'm up here bashing it because I don't like gay people. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay.
Do you understand that? Ugh, ugh, serious crap! Hey, check it out. I'm now making t-shirt designs about my videos, which you can pick up in the link below this video. I'll pin a comment. I have also created a Twitter account, so if you think that I am funny, you can follow me on there and immediately realize that that is not true. I shall put the link to my Twitter in the same pinned comment, so buy the t-shirt, follow the Twitter, like the video, release the bees, nuke the moon, seduce the frogs, stay safe.